Don't stare. Come on. Oh my God. Look at that. I just read about that in the paper. It's called Scarlet Letter Punishment. Scarlet Letter Punishment. Ooh. Poor guy. Yeah. Hey, 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 Ray. How you doing? Good. Good. You know that guy? He. He works at the at the restaurant Moho in your hotel. The, oh, the I W didn't, Hotel. Well, why didn't you say hello to him? You know him. I know. He he wanted to do a stop and chat. I didn't want to do a stop and chat. Stop and chat. Where do you come up with these things? Stop and chat. He wanted to stop and chat with me, and I don't know him well enough for a stop and well, chat. Hello, hi, how are you? Nice seeing you too. Take care. No, buddy. it's more than that. I don't. I don't. For him, all I need to do is just say hello. Yeah, that was kind of rude. That was not rude. I don't have to do rude. a stop and chat stop with him. Stop and chat. You always have these rules He's, and the uh, phrasing. Stop and chat. Oh, hey, Larry. How's it going? Oh, hey. The food was sensational. Excellent. Yeah, really spectacular. Wonderful. Thank you. Do you mind uh, telling me what you got in your pocket? Got a pen? I was thinking of the other pocket. Oh, I got a uh, napkin and um, a fork. There's a driver outside. Pardon me for suggesting this, but it seems like you're walking out with our silverware. Well, I am in a way, but I'm not stealing it. I'm just borrowing it for a minute and let him eat his meal and then I'll come back and get it. We're still having dessert. I'm just going to give him two minutes and I'll come back and get the fork. I call that stealing. Okay, I, I know what this is about. You're upset the other day when I saw you on the street and I didn't do a little stop and chat. You know what, I'm, I'm not good at little uh, at artificial small talk, hello, how are you kind of thing. Don't know what you're talking about. Could you wait right there? What? What are you doing? I'm gonna call the police. Uh, Mr. David, you wish to be heard before I impose sentence on you? Yes, Judge Katz, and, and may I say uh, Shabbat Shalom. Um, what happened is simply that I was trying to bring a fork to a, a working man who was, was a driver, a limousine driver, and he had dinner, but he did not have a fork to eat the dinner, so all I was doing was attempting to bring him a fork and a napkin so he wouldn't have to eat with his hands and get it all over his face and his clothing. It was only out of some personal animus that the restaurateur had toward me because I ran into him on the street and I didn't stop and have a little chat with him. You know, I, I don't like to make little chit chat on, on the street. I like to have a real conversation with people. It's touching what you tell me. But it seems to me that there was an indication that you were going to do what you wanted, when you wanted, because you feel because of your celebrity, somehow you can do things without consequences. I need your help in this. Obviously a fine isn't going to do anything. So what do you expect this court to do so that the public understands that I'm not according you any special treatment? I could work at the temple on Saturday mornings, uh, hand out taluses and yarmulkes. And you think this is a fitting punishment? Isn't it a joy? Well, temple can be quite grueling, as, as you well know. You know, Mr. David, I've been thinking about this. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a sentence that will guarantee that you will never, ever do this again. Started to like throw up and then li licked it up. I swear to God, I'm not lying. Hi, Larry. I didn't beat my wife. But I'm not gonna. Yeah, no, she's good. Um, it's it's a long story. It's a. I was trying to help a driver, a working man, Miss CBS, big wig. <laughs> 